Hi, and welcome to the second video tutorial on Divity. In the first tutorial, you learned how to create an account and also how to navigate around the main features of the site. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an event and within that event, upload pictures and also embed videos. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna open up our web browser and again, we're going to go to Dippity's website, www.dippity.com. And since we've already created an ID, we're going to go ahead and log in. We're going to enter in our, our username and also our password. I'm going to press log in. All right, now this will bring us to our blank timeline. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to go over here and add an event. All right, so this will prompt us for a couple of questions. The title of our event. We're going to go and say, I'm a science major, so I'm science oriented here. So we're going to say the angiosperm term coined for flowering plants. The date this happened, you can either be really specific with month, day, year, and time of day, or you can just put a year. Since I only know the year, I'm just going to put the year. Now it's going to ask us for a description, and we'll write a short description of this event. Paul Herman coined the term angiosperm to refer to all of the flowering plants. All right, now we can upload a picture either from our computer or we can paste an image URL in this box here. Since I don't have a picture available on my computer, I have a website that has a picture on it that I could use. So I'm going to bring up this website. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to copy the URL. Now I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to paste it. into the picture URL box and press OK. Now it'll show a small icon of the picture once it's recognized the picture. You can also add a link in here to another website and you can also add a location. This could be specific with street name, address, street number, city, state, country, things like that. Since I know this happened in England, that's all I'm going to put. Now we can also include a video URL from a YouTube video or Google video. So I'm going to go to my videos page and in this URL box over here I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to minimize this page so I can see Dippity again. And I'm going to paste the URL in this box. Now, you can, at this point, you can either save and add another event or just save. So we're just going to save the event as it is. And this may take a few seconds to load. All right, now our event has been saved on our timeline. We can't see it right now, though, because we're in the 2009 time. We need to go to 1690. So we're going to zoom out 500 years, and we capture our event here. Now, once we click on it, we have the option to view the video. If there's a video, this will always be the first thing that pops up. We can also look at the picture and, a sh and the description below. We can look at the description in a smaller version of the picture. And we can look at the map of the place that we set. So this is a map of England. You can also add comments. And at any time, you can delete or edit this event. So since we're satisfied with it, we're going to go ahead and X out of here. All right, so this concludes the second video tutorial. In this tutorial, you learned how to create an event, upload an image, and also embed a video within that event. Hopefully, you can now see all the creative possibilities that are available with Dippity. Thanks for watching.